Haptons are small molecules that elicit an immune response only when attached to a large carrier such as a protein. The carrier may be one that also does not elicit an immune response by itself. Once the body has generated antibodies to a hapton carrier adduct, the small molecule hapton may also be able to bind to the antibody, but it will usually not initiate an immune response. Usually only the hapton carrier adduct can do this. Sometimes the small molecule hapton can even block immune response to the hapton carrier adduct by preventing the adduct from binding to the antibody, a process called hapton inhibition. The mechanisms of absence of immune response may vary and involve complex immunological mechanisms, but can include absent or insufficient co-stimulatory signals from antigen-presenting cells. The concept of haptons emerged from the work of Carl Landsteiner who also pioneered the use of synthetic haptons to study immunochemical phenomena. Examples of haptons, the first researched haptons were aniline and its carboxyl derivatives. A well-known example of a hapton is urashal, which is the toxin found in poison ivy. When absorbed through the skin from a poison ivy plant, urashal undergoes oxidation in the skin cells to generate the actual hapton, a reactive molecule called equinin, which then reacts with skin proteins to form hapton adducts. Usually, the first exposure causes only sensitization, in which there is a proliferation of affected T cells. After a subsequent, second exposure, the proliferated T cells can become activated, generating an immune reaction that produces typical blisters of a poison ivy exposure. Some haptons can induce autoimmune disease. An example is hydralazine, a blood pressure lowering drug that occasionally can produce drug induced lupus erythematosus in certain individuals. This also appears to be the mechanism by which the anesthetic gas halothan can cause a life-threatening hepatitis, as well as the mechanism by which penicillin-class drugs cause autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Other haptons that are commonly used in molecular biology applications include fluorescine, biotin, digoxygenin, and dinitrophenol. Hapton inhibition Hapton inhibition or semi-hapton is the inhibition of a type 3 hypersensitivity response. In inhibition, free hapton molecules bind with antibodies toward that molecule without causing the immune response, leaving fewer antibodies left to bind to the immunogenic hapton protein adduct. An example of a hapton inhibitor is dextran-1, which is a small fraction of the entire dextran complex, which is enough to bind anti-dextran antibodies, but insufficient to result in the formation of immune complexes and resultant immune responses. See also Toxin, antigen. References. External links. Haptons at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings.